hello everybody welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to introduce you to essential tool tools every formulator should have if you are a cosmetic formulator or you are a diy um what you need are uh, what i have especially for cosmetic formulators if you make product at home or if you have your own probably a small place where you make cosmetic product these are essential tools that you must have okay number one which is the most essential tool is your skill okay you must have different set of skill and they have to be reliable okay there are different skills uh especially on amazon that are just not it you know sometimes you make product and it's, it, it, it came out messed up even though you have your you have the right formula but it just came out wrong it's because you have a wrong skill. So make sure you have different set of skill. This scale is, uh, it has a 50 kg limit, okay, by smart weight. I have a link in the description box below for where you can get your own. Highly, highly reliable. Another one like uh, it, but it's on a smaller version, especially if you have to measure small amount, probably of actives or gums, is uh, Aqua Weight Scale, the max 1000 gram. I have it and it's very very reliable if you have this as long as you protect water or oil from getting to this it's going to last a long time so get yourself these two it's going to do you a lot of good and then very very important tool that you need is a pH meter okay if you are truly a serious cosmetic formulator you must have transcend from uh, the realm of using a pH strip paper to a pH meter because a pH meter is a more reliable way of checking the pH of your product. So you want to keep that in mind. Make sure you go for a pH meter. No longer, you shouldn't, at this stage, you should not be using a pH, um, a pH paper, a pH test paper anymore because this is the most reliable way to check the pH of your product. So that's the second um, essential then another essential that you need is uh, an infrared thermometer i know some of you think okay i have a thermometer that i can use uh, it's not an infrared you need an infrared one because it's a point and check system okay an infrared thermometer is a point and check system you can just easily point it into your emotion to check the current uh, temperature okay so very very helpful especially when you are waiting to add your um when you're waiting to add your cool down face ingredient, let's say you're making a lotion now, your cool down face ingredient should be uh, 40, sh should be 40 degrees Celsius if you do not want to kill your precious actives. So what you do at that time is maybe when you finish making your lotion, you want to point this into your uh, lotion, okay? Point into your lotion to check the to check the temperature before you add your precious active. Very very important that you get yourself an infrared thermometer. Okay, is you should go choose the one for the kitchen. Okay, make sure you choose the one for the kitchen because some are for the body, but this brand is for the kitchen. I have a link in the description box below for where you can get it. Then also, you need an isopropyl alcohol. I mean, this I cannot tell you this or not. This is going to save you a lot, a lot. A lot why because it's going to prevent contamination before you use your product even after you have washed let's say you want you want to use this beaker after you have washed your beaker right you want to let me just set this aside after you've washed your beaker you want a situation whereby you're going to spray it also with isopropyl alcohol so you need to get yourself a spray bottle okay a spray bottle right and you're going to put your isopropyl alcohol in the spray bottle and you use it to spray your beaker and you're going to let it air dry okay before you use it so that's very important so just after if you have isopropyl alcohol the isopropyl alcohol uh grade i have is 70 percent that is perfect perfect for um preventing contamination you don't need 99 percent you need 70 percent it's called rubbing alcohol that's what you need okay then you're going to get yourself different sets of beakers okay 
Bicas is very, very important. Not just regular bicas, okay? You want to go for bor borosilicate grade beaker because they, they do well with it, okay? So get yourself different type of beakers. You will need it. These are things that you want to invest in. Uh, on my on my formulation desk, I have different sizes of beakers. I have the bigger one. I have all that one. I have up to five thousand uh, ml. So if you make large amounts of product, you really need it. Okay, a beaker is a lifesaver for all customers. A glass beaker, and not just a regular glass beaker. It has to be a borosilicate type because it's stronger. Okay, I've had this fall down on the floor on the floor twice, but it didn't break. It's because it's the uh, authentic borosilicate one. I got mine. Mine is from United uh, Supply, and it's, it was uh, made in India. So I have different sizes. Okay, different sizes of beakers. You know, all all the way to five thousand ml. Okay, and what I have here is uh, five hundred ml. It's still a uh, borosilicate grade. Okay, you need that so as to. Um, do well with your formulation you really need it okay make sure you invest in good beakers because you use it a lot it's very important as you all see in my video are you big i use beaker um train, as a trained cosmetic formulator there's nothing you need uh, plastic for you want to use much beaker as much as possible okay you need beakers not plastics okay get yourself you need to invest in different set of beakers and different sizes so i have a link in the description box below for different sizes of beaker you can use okay it's going to make your job a little easier okay and you will really enjoy them as long as you don't break them sorry about the you noise know. As long as you don't break them, you're going to really do well having these ones. So I'm going to get this aside. We're going to move on to the next thing that you need. Aside because you need uh, a glass steering rod. Okay, when you're making your lotion, anything you are making, or you want to mix your gum, you know, you need glass steering rod, okay? You cannot uh, be using um, this type, okay, to mix this not glass is the best so a steering rod uh, that was made with glass okay make sure you go for it. i have a link in the description box below for where you can get that then you go you're going to need different kind of uh, scrapers okay you what you need the scraper for is to scrape the side of your beakers okay you will need it to scrape the side of your beakers right so it makes life easier for you. So get yourself different size. I have different sizes, so get different grade. I mean, different sizes will do you well. I have a link in the description box below for where you can get different sizes, okay? Of, and you have to make sure you wash them before you use them, okay? So that's another thing. Um, another style of uh, scraper that I encourage is this. Okay, though I don't have much of this, but I do have this one. Oftentimes when you want to mix certain products, your sterile cannot do that job, so you can use this, okay? I have a link also in the description box below for where you can get that. Then you need different stainless, stainless steel spoon, okay? Do not use regular spoon. Make sure you go for the stainless steel one. These are the ones that will not react with your actives. And you can also use, I remember I did an unboxing video on this a while back, so check. And also it, it has this edge where you can use to take your actives, okay? Uh, let's say you want to take um, Xanthan gum, for instance. You can either use it, to, you can even use it to cut some actives, especially when you're working with ceramide. Let's say you're working with, just make sure this is sterilized, okay? Then you can use this to, take some steramide you can even use it to take any other active that are uh, you know you remember we use active a small amount right so that's about it for different so i think those are the major things you need now make sure you get yourself a good um, homogenizer okay if you do not have an homogenizer you can get yourself a good um immersion blender i've shown you immersion blender on this so look in the description box below for uh, in the immersion blender I use, I use all clad immersion blender. Um, I, I have it linked in the description box below. And the master of it all, which every cosmetic formulator should get, is water bath. 
Water baths are very important for cosmetic formulator, not just regular water bath, it has to be a thermostatic water bath. If you have watched some of my video, you will see that I have, I have different water baths. Um, I use thermostatic water bath because you will be able to control the temperature. For instance, if you want to make your lotion, usually we melt our ingredients to 70 degrees Celsius, right? So what you want to do then is to set your water bath to 70 degrees Celsius so that you will not exceed that and you have some peace of mind. Thermostatic water bath is a must have for every cosmetic formula. So even if you do DIYs, instead of going to use the stove, I look at several videos and I see people use stove to make lotion. I know you can start from there, but trust me, while you are using stove, you have already killed your precious actives. Those actives are already gone. You are just using regular lotion. That's why you know some DIY products don't work because firstly, you have destroyed the precious active with, by overeating it in the stove. You are making with plastic, trust me, it has, it, it, it has just messed up the whole product. Some element from the plastic has already, you know, moved into your product, you know, it just, it's just a mess. So DIY, they are the future commonly formulators. But if you know what I'm showing you today, it's going to save you a lot. Oh, before I go, here is the, um, here is the, all cloud dimension blender that I use. You must have seen this a lot, okay? Look at the description box. This is just the head, attachment head. You can use this to blend your lotion only if you are making it for yourself. But if you are selling, you have to use an homogenizer. I have a link in the description box below for a good homogenizer. FSH2A is a good homogenizer to start with. Look in the description box below for that. It's going to make your job easier. It's going to make your lotion or cream more smooth and together. Homogenizer will de de make um, a smoother product and a more stable product. It's much, much better than using an immersion blender in most cases, right? So that's, uh, so what about get yourself, oh, I have S1, I have S2 mini, I have the one that is bigger than this. You must have seen that, especially when you watch my DIY video on how to make salicylic acid solution. I link that in the description box below. So you see me use it, I set it. Thermostatic water bath is a lifesaver for you because you will not kill your precious active unlike if you use stove to melt, let's say you want to melt your butter and emulsify it right. And you use the stove, trust me, you've already messed up the precious active. But when you use a water bath, you're able to set the temperature to where you want it to be, at least 70 degrees Celsius, so you know it will not exceed that. You have the peace of mind uh, that your, your actives are good at that temperature so that's what so basically how do you use a, a thermostatic water bath i've shown you severally on this channel all you have to do is just uh, open it up the, it comes with um here is the plug you're going to plug your plug here i usually use distilled water okay for my water bath if you want your water bath to last make sure you use distilled water because it will not form any kind of mess on it and it's going to make it last. That's why this is this way. I, I've bought this about uh, over a year ago. It's going to two years now. Um, so basically you're just going to pour water inside, right? And you're going to turn it on, right? And you're going to set, uh, set it to the temperature that you want. You're going to put your beaker in it, okay? Put your product in, you want to melt in the beaker. Put it in the inside the water bath, cover it with a foil to let it melt and you're going to move on. It's very fun. It makes cosmetic formulation fun, okay, when you use water bath. I hope this has helped you out. I, these are the basic um, tools that every formulator should have. If you're a formulator and you don't have this, just try and save money towards it. It's an investment in your uh, career and it's going to make a lot of difference. So I hope this has helped everybody help. Look in the description box below. I listed everything in the description box below. Check them out. This is where I bought some of mine too. So you too can buy it, especially on Amazon. You find some pretty good deal on Amazon when you shop the right way. So I have the link of where I bought everything here um, on Amazon. That's about it for this video. Now, one last thing that I want you to take is this. You can also get yourself a disposable pipette, okay? You're going to use this to be able to take your essential oil, okay? 
Take your essential oil, you can use it to take your actives, you can use it to take your pH adjusters, okay? Very, very important that you have that. That's what I use. Also for pH adjustments, I make, um, if I'm using light solution, I make 90, 10 light solution. I bottle it. I use it only for a week. After a week, I throw this out. This is to bump up the pH of your solution. Also, I have citric acid 50-50 here. 50 gram of citric acid added to 50 gram of um, distilled water. And I keep it also for a week. Make sure you are using an HDPE bottle, okay? Make sure the bottle you are using to store any of your precious active as is an HDPE version so that it will not interact with any actives, any of your active, okay? Because sometimes we pour, we keep actives in certain bottle that eventually we turn into different compounds, okay? So just make sure you do not store your precious active in, an, uh, in a PET bottle. Make sure you go for HDPE bottle. And you can find any of this packaging, very good packaging on uh, pureblendnaturals.com. So that's about it for this video. Um, if you have any question about um, tools and equipment to use as a cosmetic formulator, this is the channel to us. So feel free to drop that comment in the comment box below. Uh, I wish you the best in your formulation journey. Remember, if you want to increase your formulation knowledge, right? I know you have formulator on nobody's packet, but we can increase day by day. You can join me at stableCosmeticFormulas.com. That's where I teach cosmetic formulation, a project at a time. Uh, head over to StableCosmetiFormulas.com and join us for the exciting project that we have going on. Thanks for watching everyone. Remember, click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload my next video. Uh, my next uh, couple of videos is going to be about, first of all, I want to address a very, very important uh, subject, okay? After that, then I'm going to do a different deal. I'm going to give you different uh, recipe for making products, okay? basic recipe that you can start with at home okay and then i'm going to give in my upcoming videos also so stay tuned for that thanks for watching